Excuse me, I got a, I got a, the, new, the new format. <laughs> Joined by Hofstra head coach Joe Mihalik, senior guard Justin Wright Foreman, and junior guard Eli Pemberton. Coach, an opening statement about tonight's game? Well, you know, uh, obviously a rough start, I mean, to say the least. I don't know if we've ever had a rougher start than that. It was 12 nothing. it was 16-1. to uh, You know, when you wait eight months to play, and then you get 30 practices, and then the night comes and it takes forever to, to get out of the floor. You know, I guess that was the reason, but, uh, you know, Anyway, I thought that the story was that we kept our points. That we knew that we still believed in ourselves. We knew that we could overcome that. We knew that we could just possession by possession win the win the battle and uh, and swim back. And, and we did. And uh, you know, I'm really proud of our guys for for again keeping their poise and their and their composure. Questions, Justin. What got you guys to keep your composure? How did you do that? Oh, uh, we just believed in ourselves the whole way through. Uh, they had us down 16-1. And all we did when we came to the bench was just tell each other, like, we got to stay positive and stay optimistic to do the whole thing. So that's what we did. Eli, how did you guys turn it around? Um, just a team effort. That, that's all that really comes to. Uh, actually, when we made a run, uh, Justin came back to the bench and uh, said some words to us. I'm not going to repeat it here, you know. <laughs> but uh, Justin said some words to us, and that's our captain. So we got fired up, and we just got to uh, lead the pack right behind them. And the team... We just started playing defense better. We bought in, and it was more team defense. So uh, I think that's how we came back. Were you a little nervous at all with that 16-1 to start? No. Mm. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't nervous at all. Mm. I was. <laughs> <laughs> why would you say, Why were you not nervous? I just know the uh, group of guys that we have, yeah. a, a bunch of hard workers, a bunch of people who believe in each other. Just the spirit in the locker room, especially this year, me being my third year, Spirit in the locker room is amazing. So I know these guys got my back and I got theirs. And um, that's why I wasn't worried. At 16 to 1, I kept the same face the whole time. I just, I just did. Speaking of amazing, this is for both players. Uh, what did you think of the atmosphere tonight? You played in front of a full house. What, what was that like for you guys? That was great. Because, uh, you know, we put, we go against these these crowds that, that are the same way that we were tonight. But to have it, at, especially at Hofstra, was just amazing. What did you think, Eli? Um, it, it, it's amazing. Uh, Going to see those crowds at UNCW, the other schools that uh, we play against, and you know, it, it kind of, we kind of want that here. We love our fans. We love when they come and watch us. It, it fires us up. Um, it, it's just a, it's a beautiful thing when everybody comes up to watch us play, and we want to put on a show. Joe, what were your takeaways from the forwards? It seemed like Danny got you started a little bit, and which you feel pulled down ten rebounds tonight. Go again. Sorry. Sure. Um, Joe, your takeaways from the forwards, uh, Danny, it seemed like you guys started a little bit in the beginning, and then Jaquiel uh, pulled down 10 rebounds. Today. Yeah, but both of them a little shaky start. I mean, well, not Danny. I thought Danny came in and gave us a little bit of juice there. But I think they combined for, you know, like 16 rebounds, 9 points, something like that, 3 block shots. Mm -hmm. A lot like the guy that just graduated last year. So, and that was, that was the goal of between the two of them that they could do what he did, so. You know, it's pretty good, pretty good production and a little bit of presence inside. And, uh, you know, uh, but especially, and Shaquille was good down the stretch, but, uh, but Danny Kling gave us a good, a, good, uh, a good boost. What did you see from Justin from your perspective, for him to step up as a leader when you guys are down like that so early in the game? What's it, say it again now, I'm sorry. What, uh, what were you seeing from Justin personally when you were down that early for, for him well, as a leader to step in? You know, again, he, he, he kept his poise. He, kept, he knew he's a, he's a confident guy. He's the most confident guy I've ever coached. He knew we'd be okay. And just his body language and the way he acted, you know, Elijah was kind of speaking to that. You know, it, it, it's, it's contagious, and, and the guys knew it. And he's a guy we look to. And, you know, uh, I think Justin would be the first one to tell you it wasn't the best he's ever played. But, he, again, once again, he made his team win. He made his team win with some of the shots he made and some of the plays he made. And that's what the great players do. They make their team win, and Justin did that. Justin, Eli, uh, you guys were playing in a game for the first time with Taylor and Dwyer. You guys have been practicing, of course, for a while. But what was it like? How did they kind of fit into uh, on the court today? They fit right in. Uh, we didn't miss a beat. Uh, you know, we obviously missing Rod, but like Coach said, we had 16 rebounds between uh, between the both of them. Like th that's amazing. I mean, we had to contribute that ourselves, and you know, we had to help them as well. But they fit right in. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, they're a different type of big man than Rokas was. You know, um, both of them could shoot the mid range. No shot at Rock at all. Um, but you know, they they work extremely hard. They get boards, and they they know their role. 
and um, that's the part of being a great teammate. And those guys are actually they're really both good teammates. You know, you, you were, we were speaking earlier about the crowd, and then I have to kind of chime in here. I mean, it was just so exciting to be here in front of a, a packed house like that. It's it's something you dream about, and our guys dream about, and, and they deserve. And then uh, you know, we're so happy and thankful that our fans came out and. There's a couple behind the scenes people that just, just just need to get a shout out, and that's Mike Neely and Chrissy Arnone. You know, Mike Neely was was pumping those tickets and selling those tickets, and Chrissy Arnone Chrissy Arnone was, you know, selling the, all the marketing, all the promotions, all the behind the scenes stuff. So they're just two of the people at, the, at Hofstra that, you know, they don't get to do this. Like like Justin gets 20, Elijah gets 18. They're sitting here and you're talking to them. Mike Neely and Chrissy Arnone don't get to do that, but man, they work just as hard as these guys at their job. So they deserve that shout out. Joe, this season kicks into high gear pretty fast. You got Marshall Sunday, NCAT next week. What's you get into routine pretty quickly? What is today? You know, well, I don't like back? the fact that Justin's you know rubbing his hip right here because he banged at the end of the game. But uh, yeah, sorry. What is just you know? It seems like it's kicking. It seems like you're hitting the, the schedule pretty quick. And what's and that like tonight? Do for your team as you kind of get into that. You yeah, four games in eight days. Back. If you don't yeah. get it done tonight, it's going to be a long eight days. You know, so uh, it, it was kind of a. Awful early to say this, right? It was kind of a must-win game. We we had to get this one tonight. So, you know, that was one of the thoughts crossing my mind. It was sixteen to one, but uh, you know, our guys came through and did what they had to do. But you know, you got to get that first one so you feel good. A lot of teams haven't done it. You know, we've, there's been some. The madness has already begun with the crazy upsets. So we're so glad that we can get it because, you know, we got Marshall in two days, and then we got North Carolina team back here, and then you know. One week from right now, we'll have four games on our, our behind us. One week from right now, the Maryland game will be over, and we'll have four games behind us. So, Joe, you gave Stafford the start tonight. Seemed like a really good glue guy for you tonight. Uh, finished off with that dunk at the end. What was your impression from him? Yeah, but he, he is he is that. You know, I'll tell you what. I just said this to these guys. It's you just be ready when your numbers call because tonight it was Stafford. Uh, Sunday it might be Tariq Coburn and uh, Danny and Shaquille never know when they're going to go and Kenny Wormy never knows when he's going in there. You know, Jalen Ray, he gives us a boost when he goes in there. So, you know, we, we've got some depth. We've just got to figure out how to use them and, and get everybody the minutes and get them productive. And last question. Uh, Coach DeJour really stepped up today with 18. What do you see from him on the court today? Well, he is, you know, he is, and I'm not saying Stafford's not a glue guy, but DeJour's our glue guy. He's the one that keeps us together. And, He's the one that really we rely on. Everybody, everybody kept their points. He did too, and he made some big shots. And he ended up with more points than I thought. He, I thought he'd get coming into the game. So. Thank you, guys. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.